y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> Just leave my appointment. Oh, let me stop. Fix my pocketbook. Uh, so I did get some good news today. Yes. Uh, my blood pressure was good. And looks like I'm not going to be needing the MRI after all since my body is starting to heal my leg and back so just gonna try these weeks of physical therapy I wish I could see how I parked so y'all we're gonna go to the car wash but I am so happy though Cause I've been working on my blood pressure and hopefully I continue to lose weight I'm trying to get my key while talking to y'all Tulane the cat Kane is here assisting me today say hey Kane he ain't gonna be with me or she not gonna be with me much longer Looking for my key, folks. My keys. Yeah. <clears throat> Two lane to cane, count your days. Because your days is about over. Man, my car need wash. Uh, yep. Uh-oh. smell bananas that's what I brought some bananas y'all let me get up in here and my back is not hurting like it usually would hurt after walking a long distance like this I'm a little windy though So, yeah, I'm going to not need the MRI, which is a blessing. How many of y'all do this? Put your pocketbook behind your back. Oh, yes. Oh, that's that good back support. But, um, why well, I still got this on? Hold up, y'all. Not me. Okay, so I got to hand sanitize. My granddaughter going to do my nails, y'all, so. Leave me alone about my nails. She already said she going to do them. She said, Grandma, you cut my hair so good, I'm going to do your nose, I mean, your nails and, your nails and your toes. So I was like, cool, fine. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all, so let's get ready and get on back up the road here. I'm going to have to make a gas stop somewhere. My car been good on gas, y'all. But I am so super happy that... Uh, you know what that woman was doing? I thought she was walking toward me. I was going to say, I ain't want you want. <laughs> I'm happy, though, because my blood pressure was good. It was good, good, good. I wonder if I can go. I'm going to try to go out up through this way. 128 over 80. 128 over 80. I think that's what she said. Yeah. But anyway, it was better than 200 over 117. So I'm going to take that and praise God about it. And it's in the afternoon hours too. She couldn't believe it, y'all. She took it twice. Second time she took it, it was 130 over 80. <laughs> Cause I don't know about y'all, but I get nervous sometimes being around the white coat, the blue coat, any doctor. 
especially since um corona corona been out but y'all don't give up on yourself don't give up on your body sometimes and you just got to believe God for your healing and that's it no matter how bad it looks because if I went and went by how bad it looked it, I'm trying to tell y'all if I would look by went by how bad it looked and how bad it felt I would not be at this moment right now where I can celebrate and I and I was praising God in advance for my healing but now it didn't caught up in the natural come on yeah that thing didn't caught it didn't caught up in the natural it started in my spirit it started in the spirit and now it's catching fire in the natural hey Woo! Oh, y'all don't know how excited I am to have reduction. Mm. Mm -mm. God is reducing my problems, my issues. You hear me? He's taking away the number of issues that I have. Now, I still got to go through some stuff. I still got to do this physical therapy. But to feel control again of my leg. Before, I, I, I didn't have control of my leg. Walking, none of that. It was just flipping and flapping wherever it wanted to go. But to have the control that I have now. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yay! If you don't believe him, you better believe in him. If you want to be healed. Hey! Yes! I am so happy. And I knew... All that pain was causing my blood pressure to be high. That pain was causing me to be agitated and irritated and, and just causing me not to rest at night and stuff. But I knew that if I could just get to the right one, I pressed my way to Jesus. And he put the person in my path that I needed. Because my family doctor won't do it. The more I would tell my family doctor, the more they just want to give me pills and stuff. And I'm like, look, it, them pills is not helping. And then y'all know I do not like any strong pills. Tylenol, ibuprofen, that's it. And barely, 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 I say barely ibuprofen and Tylenol. Barely. But see, I knew I needed physical therapy. And so... I was trying to do it on myself, but I didn't know what I needed for what I was going through. And so, what I did do was help. I got my range of motion back and stuff, but I couldn't get that 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 spot in my back. I just that sciatica nerve. I just couldn't. I didn't know what to do to depress that nerve. But things are working now, and I'm in traffic. Do y'all see traffic in my car? in traffic in my car. Watch me leave these people behind. Now let me stop. <laughs> nah, y'all, I ain't playing on the road like that. But I am truly happy. I'm just happy, y'all, that God is turning things around. He has turned things around. So I'm happy about that. And I'm glad that I stayed with Jesus. We always have an option. You can stay with him and trust him, lean and depend on him. Or you can go do your own thing and feel all that pain and stuff. Because he said, give it to him. My yoke is light. Hey, that's what he said. <laughs> he said, my yoke is light. Take mine. Since yours is too heavy, take mine. Mm. My goodness, I need my Bible. I need I need to pull over and Oh, I can't even do it because I'm I'm on the phone doing a video, so I can't even do it, y'all. Lord have mercy. Mm-mm. Alright, y'all, but peace, love, and happiness.